In the news this hour, a Woonsocket man could face a judge as soon as this morning after a pipe bomb was found in his former apartment. Jan Carlos Martinez Lopez turned himself in late yesterday afternoon, hours after he was evicted from his apartment. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie is joining us with more. Well, good morning, Danielle. I have here the court documents from the day this summer that Jan Carlos Martinez Lopez was served his eviction notice. According to these documents, today is the day that he was supposed to be out of his apartment, but he left early, leaving the Woonsocket Housing Authority to get into his apartment yesterday to do their inspection. But once they got in there, they found something that just didn't look right. They came upon a small what resembled a pipe bomb or actually looked like a pipe bomb. And that was at the Morin Heights housing complex in Woonsocket around 9 o'clock yesterday morning. At first, the Woonsocket police chief said members of the Woonsocket Housing Authority thought it was a hoax, but closer investigation by fire officials revealed that the six inch device was no joke. It was found inside Unit 68, where that tenant, 22 year old Jan Carlos Martinez Lopez, was being evicted. Though, as of now, a motive as to why the device was left in the apartment is not known. The chief says that the suspect got word from police that they were looking for him and he turned himself in. Martinez Lopez is now facing charges for possessing an explosive device. Now, if you're familiar with the area, the complex is across the street from the Citizens Memorial Elementary School. We're told by the police chief that the size of the device, even if it was detonated and went off, was not large enough to cause any problems or threats to the school across the street. So there was no lockdown or evacuation of the students and staff there. But there were about 50 tenants of the complex of the apartment complex that were evacuated for safety reasons. We're going to hear from some of them coming up at 530. For now, live in the control room, I'm Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.